I love the traffic add-on and particularly this new version. And let me tell you why. There are two main functions that make all the difference, but more about that later in this video. First, let's see what we get. So 76 vehicles, planes, boats, two wheels, train, cars, a lot of cars. And as you saw in the introduction, the assets are photorealistic, so great for animations or stills. But that's not all. You also get 250 signs and streets elements for your projects. So let's see how this beauty works just after this quick chat out. Hello everyone and welcome to The Ride, my Blender car animation course created for beginners and intermediate users who want to get into car animation. I'm so proud to present this project. It's more than 64 videos and 11 hours of training and today I can finally share it with you. In this course, you are going to cover all the topics you need to master in order to create your own 3D projects, such as environment design, lighting, animation, camera animation, camera framing for TikTok, Instagram or YouTube short, smoke simulation, <laughs> DaVinci Resolve, sound effects, and the list goes on. I will also provide all the necessary assets that you need to follow along. My updated city pack with skyscrapers, city props, and 22 new buildings that you can use in all your animations. HDRI magic to create realistic animations in a few clicks. You will also get this C63 AMG, this OD RS5, this Corvette C8, and this beautiful Mustang. Yes, everything is included in this course. Okay, now concerning the add-on installation, it's pretty standard. You click on edit. Preferences, Add-ons, Install, and you search for the add-on file, the zip file, and Install Add-on. Once you have done that, you just have to check that the add-on is activated with this checkbox. From there, it's pretty simple to spawn an asset in your scene. You just press N, and you go on the add-on, Spawn Asset, and here you will have the different categories. As I told you, there are a lot of uh, different objects and assets you will have. So for example, contemporary cars, you have aircraft, bicycles, classic cars. Yeah, let, let's, let's go through all of them. Motorcycles, all right, so public transport, so you know exactly what you can expect. Sports cars and street elements, those one I showed you in the introduction video. Street Signs, Street Signs USA, Utility Vehicles, lot of cool trucks here, and watercraft for the boats. So let's say we want to spawn uh, sports cars because this is what we like. Okay, let's go for the Nissan. And here, before you press OK, you can select a few options. If you want to have the lights system integrated, so let's do that. And later I will show you how it works. We can use the traffic collection. So it's automatically organizing stuff for you. And I like this. And make editable. I mostly use that because I like to modify my, to edit the cars and to animate them. But if you don't need that, you can untick this button. But most of the time I just select this and you press OK and boom you have the car in your scene. And let's say that finally you decide that you don't want to make any modification on the car or you don't want to animate the car. You can just go back and convert to linked and this way you will spare some resources, right? And if you want to make it editable again, you just have to press here on convert to editable. There is this uh, other button, snap to ground. Let me show you how it works. So shift A, plane and let's say for for what reason i move my car here if i select my car and i press snap to ground boom it will detect the plane and we place my car on the plane that's pretty cool if you want to detect the ground automatically and to change the color of your car once again it's very simple all you have to do is to click on the car and uh, here in the color settings, you can change the color, the clear coat, and the flex amount. So for the color, you just have this wheel that you can use. The, you pick <laughs> the color you want, so it's uh, infinite possibilities for that. And let's go back to, uh, to black. 
and uh, here for the clear coat you can select the the amount of uh, shiny layer that you want on your car so for example if you get if i go to one as you can see now it's very shiny it's like there is a an extra layers of uh, shininess <laughs> uh, on the car okay or if you want you can go back to uh, zero and for the flex amount let's go to one and here you can see that there is this uh, those little dots uh, everywhere all right so th this is a style why not and if you don't want that you can put that to zero or to any uh, number you want okay so pretty uh, pretty simple to change and adjust the color of your vehicle and now concerning the integrated light system it's pretty cool as well all you have to do is to come here in light settings and actually it's off but if i come here and i click for example park and i you press set and now boom you have your uh, lights activated the rear and the front and you can select different type of uh, lights that you want to use okay for low beam high beam and I think it's pretty cool because it's sparing you some time if you want to add that in your animations. And now, now let's talk about those two functions that I love about uh, this add-on. And first, the rear sliders. And with this one, you can add dirt, scratches and bumps on your car only by using those sliders. It's uh, so painful to do that uh, manually. But here, look at this. I just add some dirt and here you can start to see the dirt on the car. And if I want to add more, look at this. So I love this option because as I told you, it's very really painful to do that manually on the cars. And here I just slide the whole way to add some realism to your animation when you have some dirty cars. And of course, it's the same for the, scr for the scratches. And yeah, you can see that here, the scratches everywhere. And you can remove the, the scratches just like that. So great. And for the bumps as well, okay, the the bumps, and yeah, you can see here the, the bumps uh, on your car. <laughs> so I really, really love this. And this is a great option to have if you want to add more realism to your project. And of course, you can also apply those sliders only to a piece of uh, your car, for example, here on the, the wheel, and it will not affect the, the other wheel. Or you can select the different wheels, as you can see here, and it will affect uh, all the wheels you have uh, selected. And now for the last option, let me show you this beauty. So you click on your car and let's go back in the add-on. And here I will close everything so you can see we have this rigs uh, option here. So if I click on it, I can select a path. So let's do that. Let's create a path. Okay, so curve, path, let's move it here and I will rotate it. Let's scale the guy. Okay, something like that. Let's apply the transform, control A, oops, control A and apply or transform. And now if I click on my car and I say, hey, this is the path I want to use, right? So boom. And I just click on this button. I do not have the um, rigger car add-on installed. Okay, nothing at all. Only the traffic add-on installed. So here, I just click on follow path. Boom. So it tells me that it's going to do the big, the big steering, big wheel rotation, with the transform, all the stuff. Okay. So yeah, be careful of that. The asset transforms will be reset. So that's why I apply the transformation on my path. Okay, just be aware of that. I click OK and look at this boom okay boom boom space bar <laughs> and this is it my animation is done of course this is a very simple path that i done you can uh, you can do the curve and all the stuff you already know but it's animated and if i want to change the speed <laughs> look at this i just have to say i don't know 40 kilometers okay boom we bake everything and once again let me raise that and that's it <laughs> you have the animation done
And if you want to add a ground, so Shift A Mesh Plane, let's do that. Shift S Y. Okay, let's say this is the the ground I want to use, like this. Let's go back in frame one. I click on the car, and I just say, hey, this is the ground I want to use. So ground, boom. Yep, just pick this uh, color picker thing, boom and set ground object for all and that's it this is the, the ground it's going to use so if i add some deformation on the ground it will take it in consideration okay so let's do that let's add a displacement but first uh, i have an issue with my road here as you can see my car it seems that it's not touching yeah my car is not touching the ground so if you have an issue like me you just click on the rig and you change nearest surface point with project when you are in the add-on itself. So project, 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 and project. Wait, project. You might have the same issue using the rig car add-on, so it's a good thing to know how it works. So here, let me put zero. All right. So I have my animation. Now let's do this uh, deformation thing and as you can see my car is perfectly following the ground so this is the two options i really like about this add-on the weir uh, sliders and the fact that the rigs uh, is all integrated so it's easier to animate the car because you have everything in one place and it's helping you to do the job quicker all right so that's it for this add-on review slash tutorial if you have any questions don't hesitate to ask them in the comment section i see you in the next video bye bye